So next up, we move into the inbuilt specific optimizations we have for certain applications and the protocols that they use. Now, the issue we would have with, uh, hopefully it's going to be played out on here. It's not. The issue we would have normally uh, in, in an environment without uh, one optimization and our still heads in place is when a client requests a file from the server, it's not a case of the server just sending back the file to the client in, you know, in one, one fell swoop. You have, um, I'm sure you're all aware of how um, client and server interact. Say for a SIS file, you'll have all the um, transactions between client and server. First of all, security, um, just to make sure that the client has the correct uh, uh, permissions to access the file. Then the file gets sent over piece by piece with acknowledgements coming back from client to server to acknowledge that um, the data has been received. So just for a, a fairly modest file um, using the SIS protocol, you can have over a thousand back and forth transactions across the link. And this is what's causing us pain over the wide area network. Um, it's not unusual to have 40 milliseconds up to 100 milliseconds of latency on a WAN link. In a local area network link, we have latency measured in, uh, in microseconds. So obviously, each trip we make across the wide area network is drastically slowing down um, the transmission of data. So our solution to this is we want to take all of that chassis behavior off the wide area network, off the link where the latency is causing us pain. And the way we do this is um, by understanding the way the, the protocols work. So in this scenario, a client may make a request for, a, let's say, a Word file from the server in the data center. It will go direct to the server, but the steelhead will see that request on its way through. What the steelhead would do is essentially to predict the uh, conversation that would occur between client and server, and the steelhead will act on the client's behalf. So we can complete the transaction locally on the local area network. We can then send the data across the network using our, our referencing technology and the TCP optimizations. And again, at the other end, as far as the client is concerned, he's having his normal conversation with the server, but he's actually talking to his steelhead on his local area network. So all of the transactions are happening on the, on the, on the network where the latency is uh, as close to zero as we're ever going to get, uh, and at lightning quick speed. So the combined effect is a 65 to 98 percent reduction in WAN round trips, and it's this part of the technology that's truly going to uh, to give you the, the land-like performance over the network. We have a very large range of applications that uh, that we support for this, um, much more comprehensive than any other vendor on the marketplace. Hence our position as as the market leader. We have here an idea of likely speed improvements that you may see uh, once you deploy Riverbed uh, steelhead technology on your, on your network. There is a wide range of improvements you can see, and that's purely because it's going to depend entirely on your network and uh, your environment. So if you have a network with long distance links with high latency and low bandwidth, the amount of improvement we're going to give you is going to be very high because the problem you will be experiencing now is also going to be very high. Uh, the end result is always the same though, and it's to get as close as possible to land-like performance. So you'll see, obviously, SIFS um, shows some really huge uh, improvements, um, up to 200 times, uh, reason being that SIFS is inherently uh, extremely poorly behaved over the wide area network, very, very chatty so we can make very large improvements to it. Anything else on here, though, that um, you may use uh, across your network? Again, have a word with Gavin Layfield, um, because we do have a, a wide number of a performance briefs specific to each application, or perhaps case studies uh, with real-life scenarios of customers using those applications and the benefits that they have seen.